good afternoon my project is exploring scientific method by doing real and virtual laboratory experiments for self reliance scientific method is a body of techniques here i have identified seven steps for science for my children to achieve scientific method among them identification of problem question raising question observation hypothesis experimentation collection of data and analysis conclusion communicate the result a child need to observe the world to come up with an answer for their question for his question this is my innovative practice of toning up uh, observation skill among my students i grew paramecium in my laboratory and show this paramecium to my students through compound microscope and the image viewed by the student is too tiny and when the paramecium same paramecium image is uh, made to available on wide screen uh, from uh, downloading uh, the google images the students try tries to correlate a tiny image with an enlarged image so it's a one way of promoting their observation skill here first i want to make one point clear real laboratory will not be replaced by virtual laboratory but real laboratory in addition with virtual laboratory promotes the observation skill hypothesis and all the steps of scientific method in a short interval of period of time with the less burden work of a teacher here i am going to show one instance one experiment the real experiment and the virtual experiment this is the url for the virtual experiment for verification of ohm's law here when the child when the boy clicks this url he could understand the dependent variable and independent variable keeping for example in ohm's law v is directly proportional to the current v is directly proportional to i when r is kept constant here in real laboratory experiment the boy gives connection and uh, he experiences he has he, he has uh, hands on experimentation and when the boy gives connection he has only a few limited options for example 2 volt 4 volt 6 volt 8 volt these options are only available in the battery source whereas in virtual laboratory he has got many options additional options so he can easily understand the dependent variable and independent variable these are the essential part of acquiring the scientific temper next slide for this experiment i framed a rubrics this is the worksheet filled in by student whereas he has done uh, this is the real this is the data obtained from the real experiment this is the data obtained from virtual experiment and uh, he has drawn graph and he understood that the voltage is directly proportional to the current when resistance is kept constant okay similarly for uh, mapping of magnetic field when the north pole of magnet is facing the geographical north he draws a few lines of magnetic lines of forces and uh, wonders and appreciates these magnetic lines of forces do not intersect with each other when this boy does the same experiment with the virtual laboratory he could draw many more lines and he enjoys the beauty of the magnetic lines of forces similarly for uh, doing this a uh, simple pendulum experiment the boy gets a wide range of variables like length of pendulum period of pendulum mass amplitude etc to find out the acceleration due to gravity here this boy 
tries to find out the focal length of a lens. In any lab, it may not be possible to have more number of lenses with the different material materials. For example, a lens may be made up of quartz, flint, feldspar, etc. In elementary school or in secondary school, only one type of lens is available. Whereas here the boy tries to find out the focal length of the lens and he explores the dependency of the amount of refraction on the color and on the curvature and on the material of the lens. It is uh, very much uh, possible and also it is easy to explore all these parameters with the help of virtual experiment. Excuse me. Here the boy can try for different uh, material of the lens by changing the refractive index and suppose if he changes the refractive index what happens to the converging effect of this convex lens he can explore. Similarly regarding the color that is the wavelength he can change the wavelength and observe the kind of conver convergence. So he can change the first surface of the lens, second surface of the lens, etc. Similarly, for a single ray or multiple ray, you can observe. When both the real lab experiment and the virtual lab experiments are clubbed together, the child enjoys the wide range of options available in virtual laboratory experiments. So, so for example, also it helps the teacher, the virtual laboratory helps the teacher. When we teach the uh, screw gauge, there are 100 divisions uh, in the 8th scale. It is very difficult to distinguish the coincidence with uh, the pitch scale. Whereas if I show it on big screen, it is uh, easy to explain as well as to understand. So for this purpose, I make use of this is an online, online experiment. All these virtual labs, uh, virtual laboratory experiments which I show you to you here are open sources, free and open sources. So regarding, I made a simple attempt to teach the scientific method for my students under the topic evolution of atom model. Actually John Dalton proposed the model of atom 200 years before. Then J.J. Thompson, Schrodinger, so at every stage, the student usually think that sir, it's boring, it's outdated, why do you include this one in our syllabus? Sir? This is the, usually students use these kind of questions. But if a teacher is committed to explain the evolution of scientific method at every stage, then it would be quite interesting for the students and also they could grasp the scientific method. Till the year 2013, right from John's, uh, Johnson atom model to till uh, standard atom model, every model has got its uh, unique feature and this is standard atom model still the year 2013, Higgs boson was the missing piece of the portion in standard atom model. In the year 2013, when the scientist came up, uh, discovered a uh, Higgs boson at CERN laboratory, I organized a seminar for students and my students came to know that still the standard atom model is not a complete atom model and there are many more missing pieces in that atom model and the scientific method paves way for new discoveries and inventions. So in order to achieve cooperative and collaborative learning, I decided to involve students from the neighboring schools. For this purpose, we conducted a workshop. 31 students have been drawn from the three neighboring schools and 29 students from my school clubbed it together and the total 60 students were made divided into 12 groups, each group contained 5 students and each student 
and each group was given one experiment. I have identified 12 experiments uh, from these web resources. These experiments were not, were not designed by me. It is available in the web resources. I picked up these experiments which explicitly talk about scientific method. I have framed a common rubric for all these 12 experiments for evaluation purpose. So this is the strategy of the workshop. Uh, after doing the experiment, I asked each group to submit a report. And I already I prepared a worksheet for the, each experiment and supplied it to them. They needed to sub, fill in the worksheet and uh, submit it to them. So this is the worksheet for apple oxidation experiment, ice cubing melting experiment, refraction of light, impact of oil in birds. After doing this experiment, I conducted a test, post test about scientific method or for they have acquired. Here by doing these kind of experiments, the students came out with a wonderful hypothesis, designed an experiment and found out the result. All these results were recorded in their worksheets. I evaluated the paper, but in the post test, I asked only about the scientific method questions. These are the marks secured by my students. So I claim that I feel proud to say that may it be right or wrong, within one day of the workshop for 60 students, 12 experiments were given and pre-test says that the performance level of in the pre-test is 39.10 and after carrying out the experiment, they have understood, they have grasped the methods of science and they showed 70 percent performance. The difference is 31.28 percent. As a teacher working at a grassroots level, I was able to inculcate a scientific method to my students. So by doing these kind of practices, I am satisfied that I did something good. Thank you.